Welcome to the pattern prep warm-up. Today we're going to activate, stabilize, and mobilize the body with the breath. Done in a Tabata style format, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Three moves, three variations on all the moves, and here they are. The glute bridge. We're going to do this in an isometric hold for 20 seconds. Then we're going to lift one leg up in the air and hold isometrically the marching glute bridge. And then we'll switch legs, alternating, and we'll hold the other leg. Last, we're going to march back and forth from leg to leg for 20 seconds. That completes the glute bridge series. Now we move on to the plank. With the bear plank, we hold. 50-50 plank, one foot in bear plank, one foot stretched back in plank. We'll switch legs, 20 seconds on each leg with a 10 second rest in between. Lastly, we move to our single leg plank. Switching legs, we'll hold this for 20 seconds. If this doesn't work for you, go back to the 50-50 plank. That ends the plank series. Then we move to the dead bug, which we hold isometrically. We'll isolate the upper body and mobilize the lower body. And lastly, we're gonna mobilize each shoulder and hip in opposition with the dead bug contralateral. Ready? Here we go. Starting your tabata workout. We start ready. in the glute bridge position. You're gonna lie flat on the floor. Your toes are close together, but not touching. Your heels are just outside your big toe. Elbows pressing into the floor, shoulders pressing into the floor, head pressing into the floor. We push Exercise. the hips up and we stabilize with the feet driving through the floor. The elbows driving through the floor and the shoulders driving through the floor. Finding your breath, inhaling through the nose and exhaling out the mouth. Finding a good, good contraction within the abdomen. Rest. We rest at the bottom of the glute bridge don't let your butt touch, just hover. Going back up into the glute bridge, Exercise. we raise the left leg to isometrically hold the march. Focusing on your breath, stabilizing with your right foot driving straight down into the floor. Big toe pressing down. We rest in the glute Press. bridge position. And we'll do the same thing with the right leg. Lifting up, holding Exercise. for 20 seconds. Breathing. Focusing, inhaling through the nose and a long extended exhale. Inhale. We're gonna go back to the glute bridge position and hold at the rest. And lastly here, we're gonna move into the glute bridge march for 20 seconds. Exercise. Keeping the hips stable with the breath and the foot driving into the floor. Elbows, shoulders, head engaged. Keep marching, you got this, breathe. Rest. And that ends the glute bridge series. We flip over now into bear plank. Knees under hips, Exercise. exhale as you lift. Focus on your breath. Nice long extended exhales, inhaling through the nose as you need it. Nice long exhale. Switching now to the 50-50 plank. We extend one foot back into plank. The other stays in bear. Exhale as you lift that knee up Exercise. off the floor. Hold and breathe, keeping the hips up and the knee is just up off the floor. Everything's at a good 90 degree angle in that front foot. Rest. So now here we're just gonna switch legs. Same thing, knee under hip. Exhale as you go up. 
exercise. Hold. Find the calm within the tension. Everything is engaged right now, and your job is to relax within that engagement through your breath. Exhale. Rest. So we're going to take a brief moment to mobilize the spine with a little cat cow. So we're going to take 20 seconds here. And I just want you to press your spine all the way up to the ceiling, through the low back, mid back. And then extend up, big reach with the chin up to the ceiling. You're just moving the spine up and down. Taking a little break in between Rest. planks. And in this next series here, we're gonna be going into the single leg plank. Go ahead and set up in your 50-50 and go. Breathe. Stay tall on that planted foot. The opposite leg is pushing back. Stay tall on that planted foot. Rest. Good, rest here. I'm gonna set up for the other side. Exhale as you go up. Exercise. Pressing that foot, pulling the toes, staying tall on the bottom foot. All on the toes. Pressing through the hands, exhaling the breath, inhaling through the nose. Rest. Relax. Very nice. That ends the plank series. Now we're moving over into the dead bug series, the last one here. We're just going to hold isometrically Exercise. the squat position with your lower body, pulling the toes and pushing the heels reaching with the arms up to the ceiling, keeping the back pressed into the floor, and breathing to engage the core. Rest. And we're gonna reach the arms back behind you, planting them into the floor, holding on as if you had a handle in your hand. We're gonna Exercise. stabilize the upper body, mobilize the lower body pushing the heel and pulling the toe. Breathing. Find the exhale as you reach. Inhale as you bring it Rest. in. And last here, we're gonna do a contralateral opposite arm and leg. Exercise. So the right arm, left leg, left arm, right leg, there is no need to touch the floor with your leg. We're reaching, pushing the heel and pulling the toe to get a good stretch on the hip. Rest. And here I just want you to close your hands, find a good comfortable position on the floor and extend them backwards Exercise. in a nice W. And we're just gonna melt into the floor Opening up the shoulder joint, now that the shoulder is nice and warm, just open up and this is going to get us either ready for our workout or ready for the day. Rest. Nice work. If this is it for you, have a good day. If you're onto your workout, enjoy. Pattern training. Squat, pull, hinge, press. Part one, hinge and press. Tabata format, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Two moves, three times through. Two moves are the sprinter's hinge. This is a single leg hinge pattern for balance and coordination. Hinge on the standing leg. Then we will move into the Press pattern, the hero plank for balance and coordination. This is a single arm press. Nice wide stance here. Then we're going to move into the squat and pull part two. 
strength. The goblet squat. So we're going to be holding the kettlebell at chest level. The handle will be right in between your chin and your nose. Moving to the kettlebell pullover for strength and mobility in the hips. We reach the kettlebell over, stretch out those hips. Here we go. Let's do it. We're going to start marching, hand and leg in opposition. We've got 20 seconds here. We're just going to march back and forth. Exhale as you drive your knee up. Just going to get that opposition going. And we're going to start hinging here on the left leg. Exercise. And we're inhaling and exhaling. Inhaling back through the nose. Exhaling forward. Bring the pinky to the nose. Rest. So on this set, bring your pinky to your nose. Inhale back, exhale forward. Exercise. Control the movement with your breath. Very nice. Moving on to the hero plank. We're going to stay light in the thumb. Nice wide stance. Exhale. That arm that's driving back, tighten up that fist. The focus goes over towards the pinky. You're exhaling your breath and inhaling through your nose. Focus on the breath. Good, switching arms here. You've got this. It's more mental than anything else. Nice wide stance, light in the thumb, Exercise. driving that fist back, exhaling. Focus is over towards the pinky. Stay strong through the core. Don't let those hips fall. Tall toes. Good. Rest. All right, here we go. Right back up. We're going right into the sprinter's hinge. Round two. Pinky to nose. Exercise. Inhale down. Exhale up. Even if the sky's falling down. Find the coordination in this movement while balancing and hinging. Good, switching sides. It can be very frustrating. Keep going. Pinky to nose. Inhale down, exhale up. Find the rhythm within your body. Where you at today? Good. Round two of the hero plank. Set up a nice wide stance. Stay tall on your toes. Exercise. Light thumb. Really squeeze that fist back. The gaze is over towards the pinky. Drive the fist back towards the wall behind you. Pressing your arm in towards the floor. Staying tall on your toes. Exhale. Excellent work. Switching sides. Don't think about it. Here we go. Stay in light in the thumb. Exhale. Stay in tall on the toes. Focus on your breath. Good work. All right, last round. Let's get right back up. Sprinter's hinge. Here we go. Inhaling back, pinky to nose. Last Exercise. round here. Control your breath, and that controls your heart rate right now. I know it's up there. Rest. 
good. Switching sides. Focus. Pinky to nose. Inhale back. Exhale forward. Last set. Make it count. Exercise. Good. Here we go. Last hero plank. Nice wide stance. Lighten the thumb. Gaze is over to the pinky. Staying strong in the shoulder and the chest. Exhaling. Core is engaged. Driving your fist back. Staying tall on your toes. Good. Last one. This is it. Gotta fight through. Exhale as you go up. Drive that fist back. Hold. Got it, no problem. Gaze to your pinky. Exhale your breath. Inhale through the nose, nice and slow. Staying tall on the toes. Done. And that, my friends, completes round one. Pause here. Get some water. Take a little break. Possibly 90 seconds. Then we're going to dive into the squat and the pull pattern. We'll be starting back here shortly when the Tabata timer kicks back in. Part two is the squat and the pull. The goblet squat and the kettlebell pullover. So we're holding the kettlebell in between the chin and the nose at the chest. Feet about right under your armpit. You're inhaling down nice and slow on a count of four. Inhale. One, two, three, Four. Exhale up. One. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale up. Down. One, two, three, four. Exhale up. One more. One, two, three, four. Exhale up. Good. Going right into the kettlebell pullover. Legs are in the dead bug position. You're reaching the arms way far behind. Exhale up to the nose, reach back to the wall behind you. Up to the nose, back to the wall behind you. Let your breath drive the movement. Rest. Good. We're popping right back up and going into that kettlebell squat. Goblet hold. This time we're going to bring the tempo up. Come down to the base and just hold here for a second. And then we're just going to pump up and down, right in between the top and the bottom range. Driving blood into the glutes and the quads. Use your breath. Rest. Going back here to the kettlebell pullover. And we're going to play with this set. This time we're going to reach the foot Exercise. out, heel presses, toe pulls, right leg presses out, toe pulls, and we reach back with the kettlebell. Get a nice stretch in the hip here. Use your breath to exhale up to your nose. Rest. And on the rest here, we're just going to take 10 seconds. Gather yourself. We're going back in. With the other leg now extending Exercise. forward, and the toes pull back to your face as you reach the kettlebell back. Exhale it up to your nose. Let the breath drive the movement. All right, here we go. Goblet squat, round three. Similarly to round two, we're just going to pump this one out. 
control up and down. Pull yourself down and press yourself up. Control these reps with your breath. Nice work. And you know what? Let's do a little bonus here. We're going to go into a little hinge pattern. In the kettlebell row. Go ahead and grab that kettlebell. We're just going to pull the elbows back to the hips. Exhaling as you pull. Keep pulling. Really focus on the lat and the breath. Good. And you know what? We can't do a bonus back without doing a bonus squat. So let's take that kettlebell and go up to the shoulder. And we're going to squat with one arm. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep pushing. We're almost there. I promise this is the end. Excellent. Switching sides. And after this, my friends, we are done. Keep pushing. Last one. Inhale down, exhale up, focus. Push. With the breath. Done. Nice work. Well, as always, hydrate yourself, drink your water, eat your protein. Good work. Have a nice day.